Hey guys, how's it going? So Lady Gaga released a new song. So obviously she's in the news at the moment. Well, she's always in the news, just sometimes she flares up and becomes more prominent. Kind of like herpes. That's right, Lady Gaga is the herpes of the news world, which I believe makes Charlie Sheen the syphilis of the news world and Lindsay Lohan AIDS. Now before I go on to give Gaga a bashing, and no, not that kind of bashing, I'm not Chris Brown. But before we go on to talk about Lady Gaga, I just want to point out that she is just a musician. Because I find it amazing how angry and offended people can get when they find out that you don't share their musical appreciations. People get too angry angry over music. Music is just fucking sound, and sound is just vibrations, but yet for some reason, in the world that we live in, bad-mouthing a band that someone likes seems to be just about as offensive as pissing in the open grave of Jesus Christ himself. So if you are that type of person who has the inclination to get offended because someone says something about a musician because that said someone doesn't like the sounds that that musician makes, then you really need to fuck off. Get some perspective and preferably never ever have children. So anyway, I don't think Lady Gaga is a boundary pushing genius. I just think she's someone who's batshit crazy who regularly does batshit crazy things. I mean, yeah, sure, she tries to justify wearing a meat costume as some kind of esoteric symbolic gesture towards the rights of gay people or somewhat something along those lines. But seriously, how many people when they saw Lady Lady Gaga in a meat costume, honestly, for. Oh, hey, look, that's Lady Gaga in a meat suit, and that really speaks to me on a deep level about the rights of gay people, and has totally given me a grand introspective insight into the fundamental paradigms of prejudice in which our society operates within. Not many, but I suspect most people thought, holy shit, it's Lady Gaga covered in meat, she's bad shit crazy. I mean, it's always been in my opinion that she's just an attention seeker, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Show business needs attention seeking. Attention seeking to show business is what money is to capitalism. It's just annoying when she tries to dress it up as simple. Symbolism and metaphor. I mean, if you try hard enough, you can justify anything for symbolic or metaphorical meaning. That's just a vague nature of metaphor. Anyway, her new song Judas is pretty much her just proclaiming her love for Judas. You know, that bloke that gone down betrayed Jesus or something like that. Which, given how uptight America is about Christ, just seems to be another attempt to create a controversial talking point that will somehow outdo her being reborn as an egg live on stage. You know, despite the fact that she's a mammal, and mammals don't get born in eggs, we get born out of vaginas. So really, for that metaphor to have made sense, she would have had to have erected a giant vagina on stage and then made an entrance by just slipping out of it. An egg just makes no sense, is what I'm saying. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to make about this Judas song is that it just seems to me that someone's going to go about loving a make-believe character from a medieval fairy tale religious book, it might as well be the main protagonist, i.e. Jesus. I mean, seriously, picking Judas over Jesus is like picking Agent Smith over Neo Smeagol over Frodo Milhouse over Bart. It just doesn't make sense. And continuing on with Lady Gaga's tyrannical marathon of utter nonsense and general batshit craziness, the other day she said that she believed the dead fashion designer Alexander McQueen was living on through her music and his spirit was controlling her career. Now the reason she believes this is because her record company decided to release her song Born This Way on the one year anniversary of McQueen's death. Seriously, I'll quote, when I heard that I knew he planned the whole damn thing. I didn't even write the fucking song. He did. Listen, Gaga, the other day I had a wank, and it just so happened to be the anniversary of Thomas Jefferson's birthday. But that doesn't mean he was channeling his spirit through my dick. But I guess arguably the most annoying thing about Lady Gaga is that her music is awesome, irresistibly catchy, and it desperately needed a breath of fresh air into the stagnating pool of soulless auto-tune vacuous crap that makes up the majority of our pop music industry. But even though her music is brilliant, I still stand by my opinion that she's just batshit crazy. And I'll see you soon. Oh, and if you could like this video or favourite it or whatever, that'd be great.